Tim here with the Jacks of All Trades, and we are going to check out this Milwaukee electric fish tape that's battery operated. We have had a lot of different reviews on this thing. Some were horrible, some were great. We've, if you go online, you can see videos of people fishing with this thing. And uh, so we're going to pull a wire from here to over there. It's about 35 feet, and uh, we're going to be pulling seven wires through this inch and a quarter conduit. Let's check this thing out and see how it really does. Okay, so this thing has 150 foot fish tape on it. That's the one I'm working with right now. We have a regular five amp hour battery and uh, we've got this thing. I've used it a couple times with mixed results, but we'll see how it does here. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it down in this bad boy right now and see how it works. Oh, if you go the right way, <laughs> let's try that. Oh, bound up already. Huh. There it goes. No, I want to show how crappy it is, if it's crappy. Okay, so now we got this whole thing taped up all the way on, all the way down. We, on another video on how to pull wire through a pipe three times faster, we talk about how to connect everything to a string. Connecting to the fish tape is very similar. We have all of our wire staggered. As you can see, we have quite a bit of wire to pull here, uh, but we're gonna be pulling from this junction box to the next junction box. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff down and then we'll check it out and see how it goes. Okay, let's get it going. All right, so here we are. We're going to get ready. We got uh, our helper over here getting ready to just push from the other side, and we're going to see how this thing will pull. Uh, like I said, I think we have seven wires or eight wires we're going to pull with this. So first, we're going to pull the slack out. You got to feed the tape back to me, please. Okay, so some things that I did notice, first of all, is this thing is extremely heavy, all right? So I, I ran this thing with a 12 amp hour battery and it gets really heavy to hold on to. So if you can't find the top of a pipe or you don't have a box, you might wanna bring a little ladder or a bucket or something to set it on, or if you can't kneel down like this so that you can get it going. Something else I've noticed with this thing is that uh, uh, it isn't as powerful as you would think in some situations and in other power situations it's too powerful so i've been using this fish tape to pull string through about three or about 200 feet of pipe and after 150 feet just pulling a light nylon string it did not have enough power to pull that string so on a very long pole this thing didn't have very good power now on short poles like this if you don't have your good tape connections coming all the way down one thing i have noticed is that this thing will rip right out of your tape even if you have um even if you have one of the nets on the end of your fish tape which i could have put on for this the the, the chinese finger trap net that holds onto the wire it will yank that thing off because this thing is mechanical and doesn't have the same feel that you have so as you notice when we were pulling we were pulling very very slowly and the reason why is we didn't want to yank the fish tape out of our connection even though I taped it in such a way that was very very unlikely some other things um, to note with this is when I bought it that it came with a 150 foot roll 
our 250 foot roll and when I went to pull the wire with that 250 foot roll it would only spindle out 125 feet and they wouldn't warranty it even though it was brand new out of the box Milwaukee would not deal with it they said no it, well I told you already it doesn't do very good on a long pull it just runs out of gas it doesn't have the strength even with a 12 amp hour battery on it to make that pull but for these short little pulls I use this thing all the time and as long as you have you know, I got three feet of connection on all these wires here to get them done. As long as you have a connection like this, it works really, really well uh, with one person feeding and one person pulling it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of mixed reviews on it, but if you're doing short pulls all day long, this thing is awesome. I mean, I don't, at least if nothing else, I don't have to hand roll up the fish tape and have the end of the wire flying everywhere. So I, if nothing else, just that is awesome. Uh, if you like videos like this, check out the other one where we show you how to pull the wire through this pipe. I, I did this wire right here. Uh, we have some other tool videos. And remember, none of this is paid. I don't get paid from Milwaukee to show you how this thing works, but I wanna make sure you don't buy a $300 tool that you don't like. So that's what we have going on. Check out our other videos, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.